Mabu, hi, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. I wanna make um, another age gap video today. Uh, what do I call it? Um, age gap concerns, foreigner, Filipina, something like that. I wanna read an article here from msn.com and then I will throw my thoughts in there. It's about an age gap and I thought, you know, this sounds like a lot of good information that a foreigner, Filipina in an age gap could probably relate to. And it goes like this, my husband is 23 years older than me. Our gap is a little bigger than that. Having such a big gap is hard because he's so set in his ways, but we make it work. And right off the bat, you know, um, I can agree with that. And I've mentioned that before, don't be set in your ways. I mean, look, when you're older, you get married like I did at 53, you may feel totally entitled to being set in your own ways, but when you start a new life with any woman, especially a younger one, like a foreigner, Filipina, then um, it's best to not be stuck in your ways right away. Expect to have to open yourself up to different ways of doing things and new experiences. That might be music to your ears, it might not be, but I think that's a valid point. In the article, they, she says, I'm American while my husband is Italian, 23 years older than me. We have many differences, including political views and upbringing. Some are due to our age gap. Well, the political views, I'm becoming more and more convinced. I didn't say this in the first couple of years of my channel because I, I just never thought about it, but at least with the United States, with uh, the country being more and more divided all the time, different political views here, I think I would put in the must have that you, you must have similar political views because otherwise I think it can really be damaging. And talk about that before you get married. Maybe she's never thought about political views. Well, then just kind of give her some issues. What do you think about this? Well, how do you feel about that? Then you can kind of find out, you know, if she leans conservative or if she is more uh, liberal because I think that's really important. And sometimes that does come up in these age gap relationships. <clears throat> they continue to say, I, I enjoy the challenges and that the age difference brings to our relationship. Well, she does. I mean, they're, but some of these challenges are going to be difficult. Some of them you maybe haven't even thought of, you know, when it comes to, you know, intimacy or an energy, what to do things, what, how to prioritize your time, where to go on vacation, you know, how late somebody stays up, how late somebody get, how early somebody else gets up, um, you know, working or not. I mean, she, and people can get married and change their mind. She might say, oh, I'm not interested in working and then come to the United States or another country and say, boy, that really seems like a good opportunity. And who knows if what she tells you before marriage when you're dating is even what she really believes until she's actually in your country, because I think Filipinas often think so much day to day, maybe they, they could just say something to say something and not really be meaning it because they just can't think that far ahead. That's just not what they're used to. And that can cause some problems. She says, um, but we love each other unconditionally and make our marriage work, even though we have a big age gap. We are so different, but to me, that's part of the fun. Well, if she says so, I think that enough years go by, you know, when he's in his 70s or, or more, will she still feel that way? Um, I would hate to see an older guy get abandoned because it finally dawns on the younger wife that he's a lot older than she is. Not only that, but it affects the way he lives um, now that he's getting older. So she says her husband was from Luxem born in Luxembourg, but he's lived in Italy most of his life. She says Italian men can essentially be like grown children, always wanting their way, never wanting to be told no, always having the first and last word, especially if they're older and think they know better than you because they live more life than you do. So that's something to look out for. I, I think that makes perfect sense. And you're an older Westerner, you feel like, well, listen to me, this is my country, I've been around the block a few times, and I know what's best for us. And in general, that, that most likely is the case. But, you know, you still have to make decisions as a team. As far as having him having the last word, in a way, I kind of 
agree with that in this sense. I think the husband is the tiebreaker. If they're stuck on something, whatever it is, um, if it's a big decision and they just can't decide, well, then I think the husband has to make the decision and, and that's that. And then you move on, you know, argue about it. Uh, somebody has to break the tie. And if you have to be the bad guy once in a while, then do that. But I think if it's big issues, yes, he should have the last word. I don't think it's right for the wife to say, well, I don't care what you say, what we're going to do, and he, why you think it's best for us. I'm going to do it anyway because I want to. If he thinks it's best for them and he just has a bad feeling about something, maybe it's an investment, I don't know, or living in another state, moving, I think they have to they have to do what he prefers. I think, like the Bible says, the husband is the head of the wife. So having the last word in that sense, I would agree with, but otherwise try to defer to, to your wife. She notes that she's a strong-headed American woman from New York City and says, sometimes my husband's Italian ways can come out, but I stand on my own feet and speak up for myself. I never, never let my husband win just because he's Italian and older and because we live on his turf in Italy. Never let my husband win. Sounds kind of like a competition. I did a video, I, sh I may have released it by the time you see this, about, um, you know, sports and his marriage, you know, like a relationship with a Filipina and, uh, and sports. And the answer is yes, in one sense, because of the competition that really doesn't belong in marriage unless you're trying to outdo each other <laughs> to do good things. But even then, I'm not comfortable with that. Just just live naturally, organically, and, and just do good to each other. Just just have that be your basic, you know, premise. And she goes on talking about um, enjoying the challenges. Well, that can be, it can be really difficult, I guess. I'm more concerned about how things are later on, I, I guess. And she says, our age gap has caused some issues, but no marriage is perfect and without bumps along the road. That is true. And she says her husband had his whole life before her successfully ran his own business and they got married, started a family. And she suggested to him that he slowed down and concentrate on being a family man. And she wanted to continue working, keep the business going. This was a good balance for us. She said, well, those are things you have to talk about as, as the man gets older and things change, um, that work dynamic um, is probably going to have to come up and, and be dealt with. She talked about friends, a group of friends. That can be an issue, you know. Is she going to be comfortable going out with your friends if they're all 25, 30 years older than she is? She's going to want to have some younger friends too. Will she be able to make them where you are? Well, only only time can tell with that. And uh, she talks about needing women with young children around so she can talk to them and relate to them. So, you know, she makes a good point uh, with that um, comment. And uh, she says that, well, she mentions here, husband doesn't always have the energy to run after their four-year-old daughter. Uh, she's constantly in mother mode. Yeah, the guy has to be sympathetic to that. Uh, and then she closes here. Sometimes when we're out, I see people looking at us and I have on various occasions been mistaken for my husband's daughter, but I don't care. Age is truly just a number. She says, I keep my husband young and he, he keeps me on my toes and I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, for how long, you know, will she feel like she keeps his husband, her husband young? Age is more than just a number. It, it really is. It does matter from the start. If the age gap is really too big, I would be uncomfortable, you know, with like a 30 year or more gap because that just seems like this over that, you know, place, it's very diminishing returns over that age number, that age gap. And if, uh, you know, even if there's a 20, 25 year old gap as he gets much older in his seventies, for example, you have to, you have to think about, think ahead. It's nice having a young woman, but, you know, what about for the future? And hopefully you do plan on having a long future with your love beyond the sea.